everyone, it's Anna Komenda here. I'm marketing manager at Mintai Papers and today I will show you our July 2023 release. We have four new collections. We have some new books, chippy sets, and we have uh, basic add-on sheets and stencils. So bear with me while I walk you through everything. It will take a while, so maybe make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and join me for probably about half an hour. First collection is called Peony Garden and it's a lovely a combination of pink and uh, green. Uh, it's a versatile collection so you can use it for many many projects. Uh, it can be a wedding collection, it's more like a romantic line but you can also scrapbook the garden pictures, maybe some travel pictures if you visited some uh, English uh, countryside or English gardens or something like that. So if you purchase the collection uh, kit, you will get uh, 12 uh, double-sided papers, two of each design plus this bonus, bonus cover. And on the back of the bonus cover are elements for fussy cutting. And uh, if you would like to purchase this paper separately, there is a paper with elements for fussy cutting and a simple uh, pattern on the back. I don't have this paper, but I'm showing it on the screen right now. So this is how it looks if you would like to buy something extra. And as I mentioned, we have six double sided papers. So this is paper number nine with a scene. We have a vintage greenhouse, some outdoor scene with a lake. And of course, beautiful, beautiful peony flowers and super cute kittens. So if you like flowers, if you like kittens, this collection is for you. And this is the back side of this paper. Um, uh, it has just a lace pattern. Paper number two, this time is an indoor scene with a window uh, and some curtains, flowers and table. So it's like an afternoon tea <laughs> type of a party. And more laces, this time white on green background. Scene number three, another outdoor scene with a greenhouse and a lake view. So as I said, English countryside as its best. Another lace kind of a pattern on the beige background, but this time those are not doilies, just laces. Paper number four with a big window and uh, peonies on the middle, in the middle, and you can place picture here and picture here, and you will have like a um, ready layout within 15 minutes. And the back side of it are just those lovely paint crackles on the, uh, on the in the pink color with white splatters. Paper number five, we always add some uh, flower pattern and this time is of course filled with peonies on the lacy background. And the back side is this wood, weathered wood in green color. And our last <laughs> paper in each collection is always the paper with uh, 12 three by four um, cards. Of course, you can use them for project lives. You can cut out elements from it. Uh, you can use it just like it is. Uh, and on the back, we have few simple patterns. So you can cut them and use like a photo mat, um, whatever you like to do with your papers. So those were the papers from the Peony collection. We also have six by six paper pad, which carries the same patterns, uh, just in a shrink version. It's not a portion of the paper, it's the whole paper uh, a little bit smaller and we have 24 double-sided papers which means it's four of each design plus bonus um, elements on the covers on the front and the back they are exactly the same few extra elements for a fussy cutting if you love papers just like us you can have even more in this uh, peony garden six by eight add-on paper pack and it's 24 double-sided sheets but it's a three of eight designs so eight designs they are different than in those uh, 12 by 12 papers uh, sometimes it's the same pattern but in different colors sometimes they are totally different so there is a cover with bonus front and there is also extra pattern on the back and we have another laces on the green but this time it's like less saturated green bigger doily 
uh, peonies on the wooden pattern, more doilies in pink, uh, weathered, uh, the, uh, weathered wood in a um, stripy pink pattern, another weathered wood, but this time it has a texture of um, hand script, uh, dots in green, stripes in pink, uh, stripes in green, but in a different direction, um, damasks in pink, like a newspaper in green, those in pink, and two sheets with elements for fussy cutting. Those are the elements you can find in an ephemera pack or here, so those are extra. And we have some flowers and kittens here, plus extra pattern. And we have even more peony clusters here with another extra pattern. And it goes three times exactly the same. And we also have paper die cuts, 60 of those. I will not take them out because this video would take like <laughs> an hour or so. But here you can see all of them. Those are kittens, butterflies, peonies. There are trees and they are very intricate. So there are barely any white outlines around them. And just see at this card how well cut out it is see only fine thin lines even here on the wheels of the wagon there is still like very intricate cut so here are the die cuts and we also have this is the newest in the family of each collection 27 paper elements and again i will not remove them all but here you can make some envelopes one two three four five six different envelopes they are tiny they are not to store a big card uh, we also have some round elements uh, tags you just need to poke a hole and we have some uh, tickets and each envelope or each element uh, has a simple pattern printed on the back so uh, it's not white i will quickly show you so it's those laces and they are on all, all over uh, each element. So if you make envelope, it won't be white inside. It will have this pattern. So here it is, Peony Garden Collection. The second collection is called Antique Shop and it has a very distinctive vintage vibe. And of course, I will start with 12 by 12 papers. Again, this is the set. If you purchase it, you will get this bonus cover with elements for fussy cutting. There is also a separate paper with all those elements. You can purchase it extra and it will have a subtle pattern here, not uh, this obviously in the cover. And I don't have this paper to show you, but here it is on the screen. It's a preview for the shops. So this is, the very saturated in color very rich uh, collection in vintage vibe and it's all about antique shop which we have on the paper number one and it's like a facade of a building and you can see like an old books a mannequin inside old sewing machine globe and stuff like this and i really love this very deep burgundy color but also this dirty turquoise blue color so this is paper number one and this is back it looks like a very old tapestry uh like in victorian homes um, uh, it's a damask pattern and this is the inside of the antique antique shop and we have all the elements like books on the shelves um vintage I don't know the English name of this, but we have spools, like a sewing uh, elements. We have the globe and of course we have beautiful flowers. This is something each Minte collection is known for and the old weathered wood. And this reminds me of um, Dear Diary collection. It's a very old collection. We no longer manufacture it, but it was your all time favorite. And we have seen so many projects made with this line. So if you were a fan of um, this collection, you will love this one too. And the paper number three, again, inside of the antique shop with a window view. We totally love this paper and the music notes on the back which also screams vintage 
and paper number four it's a cabinet it's open and you can arrange it uh, the way you want uh, you can place little pictures behind uh, the shelves or you can just put elements on the shelves there is a lot <laughs> of um, imagination uh, ideas coming here and uh, back of this paper has this kind of a vintage collage with music notes but also some letters and stuff like this and of course paper with flowers each <laughs> paper number five in each collection have those and very dark burgundy uh, background and this one reminds me like of old couch um i don't know <laughs> like when you visit any castle or palace there is something like this there and paper number six with three by four uh, rectangles with elements on the one side and plain patterns on the back so you can use it whatever you want so those were the papers we also have six by six paper pad four of each design they are exactly the same like in 12 by 12 uh, we also have some extra elements on the front and back cover so they are exactly the same it's like a bonus element and of course <laughs> six by eight i don't add on pack and uh, this is the product you love from the very beginning and i don't blame you because this is also my favorite project product with only this you can make any project you want layout album cards so the sizing of it is just perfect for our chippies albums um, and we have front and back those are like single patterns and uh, we also have eight patterns in each uh, double-sided of course and three of each so 24 papers uh, three of each design and we have this damask paper another damask it looks like a vintage list of something a floral pattern damask uh, lace damask uh, very dark weathered wood more damask uh more damask uh it's like a page in a vintage notebook more flowers and elements for fussy cutting and again those are different than uh, in ephemera pack and a cutting uh, sheet so one page of like keys and i don't know vintage radio type writing machine camera and the back side is a collage uh and we have flowers single flowers flower clusters and again another paper with wood and so on so it goes uh three times 27 papers elements again we have exactly the same layout six envelopes uh, round elements uh, tickets and tags and again there is a print on the back so it's not white i think it will be those uh, music notes no it's a damask so it's a beige damask um, so uh, if a tag uh, a tag doesn't have a hole you have to make it by yourself oh. <laughs> okay so 27 different elements and we also have uh, die cuts 60 of them and here are all the die cuts you can find the collection again they are very intricate so I, let me find i think scissors will be a good example if i can quickly grab them no but i found a telephone see how intricate is it it has all the holes cut it out so you will have like a beautiful beautiful vintage vintage phone without this white annoying outline annoying for me because i don't <laughs> like having it i usually just cut it out with the scissors and now i don't have to so this is it this is the antique shop paper collection
third collection is called School Days and it's my personal favorite. You know I love colors, I hope you know. <laughs> so uh, this juicy uh, collection will be just perfect for my kids photos. And uh, as always, I will start with 12 by 12 papers with the bonus cover. We have all those elements uh, to Fasica. They are school related, but they also carry some flowers, which all of the Minta collection have to have. So we have backpack, books, uh, apple, um, clock, everything that uh, corresponds with school. Of course, this sheet can be purchased separately with a simple pattern on the back. And here is how it looks. I don't have it uh, in my stash. And let's look through the papers. This is the paper number one. It's a wall with the blackboard and it's surrounded with all the uh, fun school stuff along with the flowers. I just love those flowers. They are amazing. But you can notice this flower. It's kind of a peony. And this flower is common with our childhood collection and with our tiny miracle collection. So it's like a <laughs> different stages of growing up. First, you start with Tiny Miracle Collection. It's very soft in colors, but it has those uh, florals with a little pinch of red. And then when the kid become older, it is in preschool, you can use the Child Collection, which also carry the same uh, flowers and this motif. And then when it's already grown up and goes to school, again, we have another collection. So it's like a cycle and you can mix and match those collections at to some point, especially the childhood and uh, school days collections. This as they share kind of a similar saturated color palette, uh, which is for me uh, <laughs> ingenious. I would say, especially if you like to make an album starting from the baby to the school years and like, let's say a gift for the 18th birthday. So this is scene number one and it has those number patterns on the back. Scene number two, another blackboard with more room for the pictures and some elements. Oh, I just love this. It's funny. <laughs> I just noticed it. I haven't noticed it before and it has this lovely blue pattern it's a perfect background for layouts and i think i will use it paper number three with another scene this time it's like a desk uh, maybe a teacher's desk uh, again some flowers so this one is really really nice and uh, this time instead of numbers we have letters on the black background and here is the school corridor with all the doors and you can arrange it with your picture just place the picture here and here some elements uh, i don't know it will be such a fun pattern to work with and classic school element blackboard this one is for you to feel um so you can add pictures you can add all those colorful elements that will stand out from this black background and paper number five, we don't have a floral pattern here. Yeah, we don't. So uh, instead of flowers, we have school elements. Mm, uh, you can fussy cut those simply because they are quite simple in shapes or you can use it just like it is. And another simple pattern on the back. I really like this one. I don't know. <laughs> the simple, the better for me sometimes. And this is paper number six. Again, you can use it as dividers, but you can fussy cut elements. And if you need only a small portion of a pattern, you can rotate the paper and use those instead cutting into 12 by 12 patterns. So it's great for die cutting or maybe for your punches. Of course, we have six by six paper pad with 24 double-sided papers, which means you can get four of each design. And we have uh, bonus uh, elements on the front and back. They are the same, so you can fussy cut those if you are <laughs> in need of extra elements. And uh, six by eight add-on pack, eight designs, three of each, and starting from the front, and back cover those are unique only one of those in each and we have crayons or maybe pencils uh, we have numbers but instead of red it's in blue we have school lockers 
uh, we have like uh, I don't know how to call it in English uh, checkers uh, I don't know okay I will not <laughs> I will not try to make full of myself school supplies but this time instead of black on the red letters uh, more letters uh, it looks like an inside of a, a school a journal um, more school supplies this time looks like an older version I would look maybe for a high school or something like that uh, more simple patterns school lockers in blue and they are bigger than previously more school elements this time on the red and elements for fussy cutting those are more like an artsy um, elements and they are unique you can't find them here you can find them here so it's a, like a something extra and uh, we also have a sheet of florals that come with this collection and uh, paper clips on the back and so on it goes three times in this paper pack and i think it's my all-time favorite paper pack i don't know <laughs> i just love patterns like this 27 paper elements again we have envelopes tickets tags and circles and let me pick what's on the back of each element uh, it's this pattern so it has a simple lovely pattern on the back so if you uh, make an envelope it won't be white on the inside which is great and we also have 60 paper die cuts and you can check all of them here again very intricate i just find this cute couple <laughs> so adorable and we have all the things you would need in school plus two flower clusters so this is it this is how school days look and remember you can combine it with childhood and to some point uh, to the tiny miracle and let's move to our final collection our final collection is christmas i know it's only <laughs> july but we have to be prepared in advance and in july we always uh, uh, present our this year christmas collection and this time we have one because there were years when we were having two and it's called white christmas and it's more on the winter um, vibe with a vintage Christmas theming than typical Christmas collection. Of course, it has all the Christmas elements inside. Uh, you will see in a minute. Uh, but it's more, I would say, uh, with the winter vibe. So this is the cover, extra elements for fussy cutting. We have cute tears, Christmas tree, but it's more like a rustic vintage. It's not the bold Christmas. Uh, I would say it's like Christmas in the countryside. Um, of course, you can have this paper separately and uh, instead this, you will get some simple pattern. And uh, this is how it looks on the screen right now. And uh, paper number one, it's... Um, uh, winter scene on the countryside we have houses but we also have santa stars poinsettia um, like a santa sledge with greek gifts but again it has this rusty countryside like vibe it's not a bold christmas and we have simple wood on the back which will complement any um, element perfectly another uh, outdoorsy scene with the houses with the santa deer some ornaments but also this lovely wreath and we have poinsettias so you know it's a <laughs> it's a christmas flower set and we have this merry christmas so you can place your picture here and you will have like <laughs> layout ready within the minutes and we have diagonal stripes here on the weathered uh, surface. It's like a cracked surface. And uh, paper number three, another outdoor scene. Again, Santa, deer, uh, <laughs> snowy, snowy landscape. Uh, so you can arrange it with your pictures here. And lacy uh, background, uh, window view. 
um so you can replace the window uh, with your pictures if you wish so you can fussy cut the window and we also have some simple uh, greenery pattern and there are flowers uh, but also pine branches and cones and paper number five with this lovely greenery combination usual uh, pattern in our uh, collections paper number five usually have those flowers and a simple uh, pattern on the back perfect for the backgrounds paper number six with uh, all the <laughs> all the christmas elements you can fussy cut this santa perfectly or you can use it like it is or you can reach for the back where you have 12 uh, rectangles with patterns if you don't want to cut into the bigger picture this is just the perfect one perfect for die cutting fussy cutting and we have the six by six paper pad all the papers i have shown you before are shrink here plus we have front and back manas cover and it has exactly the same elements here and here for fussy cutting uh, six by eight add-on pack and the fun fact is that i usually do not walk through them all uh, before presenting it to you so it's as much a surprise for me as it is for you well it's not a surprise because i have seen uh, digital versions at some point but you know before they were printed and they arrived to my house i <laughs> managed to forget what's inside so it's a surprise for me and we have the sweater pattern on the front and sweater pattern on the back and they are unique there is only one of those it's like a bonus and we have this um, plate pattern green uh, perfect for cutting out the leaves like you know the christmas branches or something like this and we have this lovely paper in blue which reminded me our old collection called merry and bright and i think it will correspond with this collection really really well it also had this vintage vibe even more vintage i would say but more indoorsy with the big christmas tree rocking horse and stuff like this so i think you can easily combine those two collections in your projects and they will match perfectly and we have this fabric uh, flowers on the light uh, background we have the snowflakes uh, stars on red uh, another fabric more floral florals <laughs> sweater uh, doors and we have this like a window view it's exactly the same we had in paper i think number four yeah so it's the same as paper number four but without any decorative elements so you can use it on your layout and we have also smaller versions and 25 uh, we have elements for fussy cutting and again those are unique you can't find them in uh, the die cuts and more snowflakes and more greenery this time poinsettias and the back has another um another floral and it goes <laughs> twice more times so you have eight different double-sided papers and three of each design and we also have uh, 27 paper elements envelopes circles tickets and tags and those tags will be just perfect for your gifts so you don't have to make any gift tags you just make a hole in this tag add the recipient name on the back and you are done for this year and you can use both tags but you can also use those as a uh, gift tags the back has this simple light background so uh, your writing will be perfectly visible and <laughs> my ingenious idea just saved me some time in december where i will just use it as a gift bag am i genius or what okay so those were the paper elements and the last but not least 60 paper die cuts we know you love them because they have a great price point for all the elements you can find them here and they are quite intricate as always so there are not a lot of, a lot of white outlines which i don't like in my fmr pieces just look at the sledge 
it has all the holes that you you need so it will look great on a vintage type of projects you will not have to mask the white outlines with some distress ink or something like that and i know you will love it and there is also a cute santa perfect for any christmas card so this is it those were all the collections i and i will be back with some other new products we have seven new one two three four, yes seven new chippies designs and uh, those are chippy sets 12 by 12 in size and we have this one called christmas wreath and we have just a christmas wreath with merry christmas or without merry christmas wording and one two three four five of these and four of these so they are perfect for the cards we have winter time mix and we have like a cute uh, snowman let it snow winter hello winter so great for layout titles um there is a mitten and sledge and uh, skis and some uh, snowflakes uh, set number three is called Christmas Stars and you have uh, all sorts of sizes so the smaller ones, the medium ones and two very big ones perfect for the core and I can already see the garland made with those if uh, you have like two sets you can make a very long garland with just a one set it would be shorter but I'm sure it will be pretty and I think this is my idea for Christmas decor for this year and there is also nature number three set and it has this more uh, Christmassy winter vibe with all those sorry I don't know how it's called in English uh, but it has the berries uh, it has like a branches without leaves so definitely more on the winter vibe side and this one is simply stunning those are tem tenement houses uh, and they are intricate they are pretty you can combine them together to create like a whole town or you can use them on your cards or layouts we also have a school set uh, that corresponds with our school days collection and we have building a blackboard scissors books all the school elements and we have back to school teacher best days and school words here and the last but not least uh, it's a tech set so it's for all the <laughs> technical geeks we have like a cell phone but also the vhs tape uh, music tape i don't know how to call it in english differently uh, we have speech bubbles uh, so it oh, we have computer and the keyboard and more speech bubbles so uh, it will be perfect for <laughs> my hobby and it will it will go really well with men's book if you have men book uh, if you not just check it out because I think one of the page is with all those geeky stuff like uh, console pads and stuff like this and it will be perfect uh, addiction addition addition not addiction but maybe addiction too <laughs> we are all addicted to scrapbooking and another element that is released now it's another set of mintai basic uh, sentiment strips and we have two in polish and we have three in english and i will start with english ones so we have a travel set uh, with longer I would say uh, quotations like travel is the healthiest addiction uh, have stories to tell not stuff to show but we also have a shorter one and like a one word on all or two words and some of them um, some of them repeat yeah boarding pass boarding pass uh, and I think maybe not all, but some of them repeat. Yes, travel time, travel vibe. Um, you will find everything you need <laughs> for your travel projects. And we also have um, a similar set in Polish, but uh, 
oh no it's not corresponding to travels it's corresponding to summertime so we have another set it's called summertime and we have longer phrases shorter phrases and very short phrases and of course we have the lines you can use to cut it in uh, cut it apart and what i like to do i cut apart the whole sheet at once i just sit with my trimmer cut 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 and i store them in those translucent uh, envelope those are the cv envelopes and uh, i just mark them uh, with my labeling machine what's inside this one is for travel book that i was using recently and i just store them here and whenever i'm uh, making a project i just <laughs> toss them on my desk and pick the ones i would need so we have a summertime and we have a corresponding polish version called vacatia so we have all the summer uh, elements here and i think they are similar here yeah so they are sort of translations but not the direct ones because it's never <laughs> that easy and we also have christmas and i think this will be a hit for your cards uh, this year and because it has longer sentiments shorter and a very short one and some of them are great for cards but some of them are great for your christmas layouts and album like family time um snow angel um i don't know <laughs> which one i'm just trying to be quick here and we have corresponding polish versions święta bożego narodzenia um and again it will be great for both cars but also albums uh, so here is another new product and we also have new books and we know you love our books so we released five of five six of them this time and we have another batch of flora books it's your all-time favorite and we have flora book number eight number nine and number ten and the flora book uh, number eight has flower clusters in a variety of colors it complements the previous two books we released flora book six and seven uh, which has like a single flowers and leaves and those goes well with those so we have white pink yellow warm and cold colors and so on so we have six of uh, six different designs four of each and this is the bookcase edition and we have more bookcase edition and uh, because <laughs> we had plenty of bookcase so uh, we wanted to add them all as you can see different variety of colors from for different occasions so again six of each design and we have reef reef edition uh, with the reefs for fussy cutting they are smaller they are bigger again different color combination again they correspond well with those in the bouquet edition and in six and seven flora books and we even have a Christmas wreaths here. So again, six of each design. And on the back, we have some neutral patterns. Here are the wood and we have more wood here and more wood here. I'm not sure if I, if they are in the same colors. Let me check. Yeah, they are the same in each book. So you can say it's a series okay and three more books autumn book and this one is my favorite you will see why uh, so again six different designs and we have those beautiful windows on the front cover and some extra elements on the back cover and there are only one of those in each and we have like clusters with pumpkins Overall, this is a very warm in color book. It's like a very warm yellow, orange, brown uh, fall. And we have this beautiful scene with a gate. We have reefs with some extra butterflies, leaves. So it's not a very simple pattern, but I totally love it. We have some more reefs, some acorns, chestnuts, and lovely blanket here, more windows and pumpkins. Uh, more leaves and clusters of elements with leaves pumpkins chestnuts like and 
um, uh, oh my god, I'm looking for a word uh, like uh, gratitude elements, and this is why this is my <laughs> favorite because it has all the cute critters like hedgehog and squirrel and fox and they are over <laughs> the top cute and again another kind of a landscapey element and the pumpkin patch which looks amazing i wish i don't know <laughs> i had like a bigger one to frame it uh, as a fall decoration maybe i will do that maybe i will frame them in four or six frames and i will have beautiful decor for the fall so this is the autumn book we also have two christmas books and this one is a classic edition and it works perfectly with our white christmas collection because it has this uh, traditional color palette and um kind of a traditional vintage like elements so we have a uh, candles with decorations and this is just like a plain pattern on each side we have christmas wreaths uh, we have christmas trees we have santas and i'm <laughs> sure that will be the most popular page in this book we have some bells and greenery we have poinsettias and again candles so six different designs uh, and we also have a christmas book doors windows and scenes collection so let's open it we have like a door a facade windows and they are already decorated it's not like a plain window it's a christmas decorated window and the patterns here are just splatters on the uh, kind of i would say colorful uh, fabric more windows and more doors and more they're just perfect for the cards and those cute little landscapes and again the same so we have uh, plenty of elements to choose from and it's still not everything that i have to show to you today because we also have brand new stencils from our creativa line and they are in six by eight size so they are in the size of the pack they come in and you can't see the whole pattern because part of it is covered so i will take it out from the um, from the foil to show you and this one is called decorated wall and it has some of the uh, damask elements here uh, along with some bricks so it's a full uh, size uh, decor uh, here we also have a mandala and it has those two mandalas they are not a whole it's cut it here and it's cut it here we have flower border again it's a repetitive pattern um, I, I don't know maybe we should keep it like this it looks like a vase and we have brick wall, something I am sure you are waiting for because uh, brick wall is so versatile, you can use it over and over again. And of course, it's bigger. We also have a knitwear, uh, kind of a sweater pattern, and it goes all up here. We have a snowflakes number one, uh, bigger and smaller, and dots is like a falling snow and we have meadow which i will open because it doesn't show the whole pattern so it looks like this we have different uh, flowers like this one and this one is the same and this one and this one is the same and this one and this one is the same so it's like a pattern that repeats itself twice and i don't know i have this idea to outline it with a pen and color it i'm not sure what i will make with this one but it's for sure very very interesting and it unleashed the creativity and we have lace border again vintagey kind of a pattern for all the uh, vintage lovers so those are eight new stencils and that's it 
finally yes that's it it will be a long video thank you so much for staying with me for such a long time i hope i didn't bore you to death and i can't wait to see what you create with our new collections i can't wait to see what the design team will create with them and after i will um press stop on recording this video i will jump into creating with this nine too and school days will be my first choice so thank you so much and see you soon bye